What's good, YouTube? It's Jello Too Low. As you see, I got my Chevy Silver Auto behind me. I took it out today. I came to the car wash. I was gonna wash it, but it was raining earlier and it's gonna rain tomorrow. So I'm gonna save that for another day. It is a little dirty. It's piling season, you know what I'm saying? All the piling is out, building up on these trucks, building up on everybody's whip. It's a little windy today, so I'm gonna talk a little louder so I can hear me. But I just came to clean out the inside. I cleaned out the inside today. I'm gonna wash it another day. As you see, I'm rocking my old merch. The trip. I got this same truck behind me, but when I had the 24s, I'm gonna try and show y'all. The back says home of RDG trucks. That's where I'm from, that's where I stay. I got some good news for you guys. If y'all saw my previous video, I did mention how I'm still not working, I'm still unemployed, and I do got some work coming this month. Um, I'm not gonna say where or what, but I will be having a job, so I will be able to work on my trucks and be able to bring y'all content. So that's something that I'm hoping for this month. I'm definitely trying to fix up my truck. This truck had music back then. It had a music system. Here, let me show y'all. There's a lot that I gotta do to this truck. I gotta touch up the color match. I color matched it myself, but I think I used the wrong primer and all these rock chips. And the clear coat probably didn't dry up that well. As you can see right here, it started to peel. I'm gonna get new headlights as well. That's gonna be my fourth valence that I ordered. This is my third one. That's how much I've been through with this truck. And it's not even that low. It's on a 4.8 or a 4.9, I think. It's on a 4.9. This truck meant to hell. This interior is dirty as hell. This cloth material gets dirty real quick. Like, I don't even know how that happened. Anyways, guys. Like I said, it had a music system back then. I was running the EQ right there. The wire is running under the seat. My boy connected it right here with the factory wiring. He knows his music stuff. And then I was running two eights with tweeters. This is called a chuchetto. Um, I got the wiring right there. Everything's under the seat. I got a box that's running two tens or two twelves. I don't remember. I got all the wiring exposed, but I don't got an amp running to it, so y'all don't got to worry about that. I took out my amp to run it to my single cab. Um, I do got one amp right there that works simply for the voice, the trichetto, and the other one is for the bass. But that's something that I do want to work on. Y'all peep my pillow, custom pillow. That's when I had 24s. The same wheels that are on right now, these are 20s, and these are 24s. Got the color match going on, the tumbado. And this was before I had my Gomez drops done. But yeah, yo, it's on both sides. I got this as a gift um, through Instagram. It was a page on Instagram. So yeah, guys, that's one thing that I want to work on this truck is the music for sure. Because the factory radio, the factory music, the factory speakers, they're weak. They're not strong at all. You can't hear shit. Like, my phone is probably as loud as the speakers in this truck. Like, and that shit bothers me because I need my music. You know every Taquachi needs his music. For those that be listening to Corridos though, I do got a second channel right here. This is my music channel. It's called Drop Corridos. If y'all familiar with them slowed Corridos, that slowed style, it's more like a Texas style. I be slowing down Corridos. That's my other channel. And then over there is my Instagram. That's all I'm rocking at, stickers. Another thing that I do wanna work on this truck as well is the body, you know? Like the bed right here. They got dents almost at every panel. 
the back tailgate is dented up that was me though i reversed into a lifted truck and it had an off-road bumper and i didn't even realize that i hit it and it made that big ass dent and then you keep on coming oh cracked up right here this i don't know how the hell that happened this door is good this door is good and then this whole front end i had to swap out because this is a lt or a ltz i don't really know the trims on the chevy but it had no fog lights it had a simple ugly ass front bumper and i wanted the one with fog lights so i wouldn't swap that out i want to swap out the grill to a z71 grill but the emblem ain't on there so i'm really trying to touch up the front i ain't gonna lie though i'm in love with this front end i love this front end i low-key love this front end more than the 16 and 17 face uplift because this is when they came out with the more square style um 2013 was more roundish and then the 2014s came out boxy just like the obs's and that's what i love about this truck i do be having thoughts of getting rid of this truck because of all the problems that it has but i don't know this is my first truck that i took out on myself with my hard-earned money my hard work you know what i'm saying so it's really tough if i were to let it go i still don't know because the work that it needs it's like i'm paying for it all over again with the things that i want to do to it i want to eventually get billets cut the rear end drop it way more i'm gonna need a monster bed notch relocate the shocks i already got a two-piece drive shaft i learned that the hard way um i broke two drive shafts being low and being with too much weight being full size with so many people inside and all that um full tank of gas all that eventually weighs down and then next thing you know you hear that shit turning ta -ta 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 and then bang you're done you leaking tranny fluid all over so i got a two-piece drive shaft from i think power line power train power drive shaft something like that um if i find it i'll put it in a link it does not require welding which is why i got it because over here in pa it's hard to find a welder that knows shit about drop trucks and if they do know anything about them you're paying like three times the price compared to texas that's why i went to texas to get an underbed notch so yeah guys i'm gonna give you all a quick rundown on the complete drop that i got it's an ihc kit the front has control arms four inch with a little spacer inside still that if I take out that spacer, I could be at a five inch, but I haven't done that yet. And the rear is a flip kit with drop shackles. The flip kit brings you down to seven inches on these trucks. And then the drop shackles, I'm in the two inch hole. So that's nine inches. And then I got drop shocks in the back with shock extenders from Breckless. And then I have the two piece drive shaft from, I believe it's power drive lines. If I find a link, I'll put it in the description for you guys. And then right here on the inner fender, I did have to trim from like from around here all the way up to here when I had 24s. And then the inside as well, the wheel wells and the middle as well because the brake lines hit right there on your differential. So that's all I've done as far as the drop. The front does not scrape when i turn it scrapes a little bit when i had the 24s but if you run a real thin tire i think i was running 295 30 24 i believe but this you see this because i had 26s at one point and i took out the little fender the covers the factory covers and i never got to put them back in because i took them out late and they were already eating up and i was going to order new ones but i never did so look at it at a four inch drop on 20s 275 55 20 you got like three to four inches of space right here so that's good when i turn i do not scrape on these rims it's a 5.3 i haven't done nothing to the engine i've had about three different exhaust setups the exhaust setup is a true dual setup with a third cat delete so that's basically coming from the manifold 
out its own pipe coming back on both sides so you got one pipe and another pipe so i got that wide pipe eliminated that's what makes you loud as fuck a lot of people like to keep that wide pipe but that shit keeps you quiet so i deleted that i like my shit loud i don't like that quiet i feel like my neighbors get mad at me but i really don't give a fuck gas in this hole i bought this truck when it had like sixty-five thousand miles and it's almost there at 100k so right now i'm gonna go pump gas in the truck i'm gonna go to sheets it's right up the street so let's go i'm gonna try and get a point of view driving real quick so i'm gonna pop in a cd from spm the devil's mansion and yes i still be playing cds I don't care what y'all think. I keep the old school cuz. I'ma play. I'ma play um I'ma play Day Room Daydreams. There's something about that song. And that's another thing I wanna do, guys. I wanna get a new radio. Because this radio, my phone is bigger than this radio. And that shit is sad. I know you hate this wish it would, but it don't. Let's get this whole crumb, my nigga. What will I do on the day I'm out? Brand new store, go straight to mom's house. I'll meet the Diaz with hugs and kisses. I wonder what happened to all my old bitches. I got closer to my wife in prison, and I promise that I never make the same decisions. It's fucked up when you have a family, but you never come home. That's what I like about this truck. Once you turn it off, the radio stays on for 10 or 15 minutes. And once you open the driver's door, it turns off. Know what I'm saying? Hey, quick set of day. I'm gonna have to get new one, baby. Today was a success. Let's get it. I'm gonna show y'all what I be getting at sheets every time I come. Some of y'all gonna be like, what the fuck? But some of y'all gonna be like, yo, I be getting the same thing, cuz. Bang. The most simple, delicious thing. I think they call it boom macaroni. It's spicy chicken with boom sauce. More like hot sauce. Their type of hot sauce and macaroni. This shit only six bucks. Sometimes I'll be getting two, I ain't gonna lie, because one ain't enough. And then you get your large ass soda. But you already know you gotta mark it as a regular drink. Save yourself a dollar or so. And just like that, cuz, you got yourself a meal for the day. Now I gotta pump gas in the hole and we're gonna see what's up. Supposed to be hitting the gray that they're using with the nozzle. I do all the time. I see they upgraded their pumps, though. The 
Donke. We broke city, cuz. We broke city. See guys, it started drizzling just a little bit. I put gas in the hole. It didn't get me far, but it got me out of the E. Just a little bit, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Baby steps, baby steps to get you far. You know what I'm saying? Slow progress is better than no progress. Like D Baby said, slow boogie better than no boogie. I always get up and I go even with motion slow. Slow boogie better than no boogie. Whoa. I just want on my nigga look like Jersey Shaw. They say, baby, I don't know who you is anymore. Pretty petite, clean clothes, hot showers, chest tournaments. No one banging at your doors for me. If I didn't have a beautiful wife and kids, I'd be I just want a simple life with a decent job. And now that we're closer, I hope we get closer. <laughs> guys that was a little point of view of my chevy and like i was saying good things are coming this month good things are coming this year stay positive love those who love you you know what i'm saying stay humble don't let nothing change you don't let the money change you don't let them fake ass friends change you you know what i'm saying keep your circle small and that's gonna be it for this video guys hopefully the next video i drop man is gonna be something good something nice you know what i'm saying I appreciate all y'all watching. That's going to be it for this video, and I'll see you on the next one.